Hi there, Joel from Jonesy's. And today I want to describe to you guys one of the things that makes me very, very angry and irritated. I came into work today and all I wanted to do was sit down with my Torchmate 2x2 and cut out some parts so that I can get some work done. And I come up to it and I'm ready to make the cuts and all of a sudden it just sounds like shit. Like binding, rough movements, I mean it sounds terrible. And so I'm going, what the heck is wrong with this thing? So I go back and I re-square everything, I double check all the measurements, I loosen up the gantry, I take it away from the servo motors, make sure that it's, it's moving smoothly and everything's working correctly. And sure enough, it is, it's totally square, everything's working fine. But the motors just are like wanting to eat themselves. They're fighting each other and they sound terrible and it's just jerking around. So then I go to the controller and I reload the setup software for the controller and I go in and configure the motors and I change the direction of them so that they start to, so I can try and diagnose what's going on and leads to nothing. And in the testing, I realized that axis number one, which is this side, is randomly moving a different direction than axis number two, meaning that when I press the jog button, sometimes they'll move together, but sometimes axis number one will move in the opposite direction as axis number two, causing them to completely and totally fight each other. So I'm shaking my head going, oh my gosh, how do I even remotely diagnose this? So I reset the controller, turn it off, turn it on, same thing. I reload all the settings, same thing. And in the final attempt at trying to get this thing solved before I call up Torchmate, I decided, you know what, I'm going to disconnect the motor and do a wiggle wire because maybe I've got a bad connection. And sure enough, come take a look. Here's what I found. When I went to take this connector apart, I lifted it up and I saw that, just a flash. And I'm like, what the hell is that? And when I pulled on this wire, it was not connected to the connector. And the strange thing about that is that <clears throat> the Torchmate has been working fine and the motor never just stopped working. It just would seem like it would bind up. So the moral of this story is Go back to basics. Anytime you've got something that is just not making sense, like it's not following any kind of logic, go back to the old wiggle wire test and check those connections. Because most likely when you've got things that are doing strange stuff that you cannot explain any other way, it's because you've got an intermittent connection problem.